Hello again, this is the Water Man. Now we're going to be uh, starting John chapter 5 verse 4. Okay, I did all the notes. Well, I wrote, I wrote about three hours worth of studying and notes yesterday morning for this one verse. Okay, that's not all, but but then it's not exhaustive, but it's to, to help prepare for these. And in the last half of the day, <laughs> at least, I uh, had to deal with some uh, pretty harsh uh, things. Just try to, like the cartoon stars going on. I had a little hard time getting through it. The cluster headaches and different things was uh, waylaying me a little bit. But I was like, Man, I want all that you got for me, Daddy. Just help me get through this in as godly a manner as possible. I do. It's just because whenever you come through really hard things, um, green lighting God all the way as best you can. And he gives the increase all my. Okay. Now, let's get in this. I'm hoping this helps some of you. Um, if it's helping you, please uh, hit like, subscribe, comment on these, encourage me. Okay? I can use all the encouragement I can get. If you don't, as long as it helps you, then my job's done. All right? Now, <clears throat> verse 4 of John chapter 5 in the King James Version. Let me start out reading that. Let's get around here where I can sit. For an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water. Whosoever then after, whosoever fir then first after the troubling of the water stepped in was made whole of whatsoever disease he had. Pretty good sized verse. Now let's break it down. Dissect it. Father, let this come out. Articulate yourself out. You said you would do great things through me. Let's do it. Let's get her down. Amen. Here it goes. Now, <clears throat> get into the, the concordances and start bringing it not just skimming reading a translation or a bunch of translations let's not just go a little deeper and start getting down into to uh concordances and bring it that let's go on deep deeper deepest so we can be equipped when we're getting these harsh things these storms it's the lips, the lips is tribulation, fiery trials, that PYR, huh? That we can green light God in these storms and hog tie this thing, hmm? Not just let this, these pressures and stuff cause us to get so grouchy, bare, and grumbly, and that we can't even. And we're hog, trying to hog tie God. I'm trying to say my good way is a good way or a bad way. Or that's good enough. That's all I'm willing to give. Hmm? You want to have the nerve, the stupidity to do that to God? He's offering an opportunity to split that double minded, tiniest, tiniest, tiniest in the universe of your mind. Into a thought process, another universe, down to a little spot in that, another universe. Now, this one's messed up, my child, here. Let me help you. Let me wash you. Fly to the snow. Ah! Let me cut that foreskin and this flesh so they can out of your heart, out of this little bitty ball. This tiniest ball in the deepest of your thinking. He's doing it down and throughout. From his higher way, spear way, all the way down in here. And he's get that out. Let me burn that thing out of there. Ah! 
Do you agree with me? Do you hear me now? Do you hear my argument? This thing is crap. My explanation? This is crap. An intensification. <laughs> Hmm? Or are you going to stay? Try to stay, make a stand in your own righteousness. Your own ego. Or are you going to crucify that stuff and come to God? Huh? Are you going to kill out this thing and hold tight and God will zap it out? Huh? Let the let there be the haya. Hmm? Huh? Let there be illumination, light, lightning. Huh? Believe that word's or. In, uh, Genesis 1 3. Huh? Oh my goodness. Pretty similar to Ginnemar to become to exist, come into existence. God zap his stuff out so it. Brings you into life, and this stuff's going down, that stuff's going up. Equal and opposite reaction. Push down, and you're going up. Huh? Your own ego. Crap thinking. Done. I can know it's done for winning Christ. Huh? Becoming smallness and large in God. Huh? Compacted down. Huh? More dense, weighty. Glorious element, brighter, brighter, brighter in God, huh? All right, this is coming back home to Daddy God, the safety of God. God's a safe place. This is dangerous. This is uh, you sow to this flesh, you'll reap corruption and destruction. And it tastes good to you now, but inside it's tearing you up. Hmm. All right, come back to life. Fullness of life in God or corruption, destruction, descender, the Jordan River. Take you down, your own poop up, bop, bop. Goes reading nasty turds. Your own turd thinking. Don't do that. Please don't do it. Okay? Stop it. Realize. Hey, man, I'm mean, you know, This ain't good stuff right here. It never works out permanently. Huh? I can't take all this stuff with me. I got a lot of cheat still. It's getting me hardened down and callous to where I can't even hear God. I won't hear God. It gets harder and harder and harder to turn and go back to God. The more that I do this, the worse it gets. Huh? Good, bad, it's ugly. It's making me more callous down. Like an old wine skin to where I can't take the new wine, the new revelation. The apocalypse. A lot of times you hear it pronounced apocalypse. That's the disclosure of the truth before known. The revealing of the truth. The God loves you beyond the mere description of words. Not what this thing is trying to feed you. Your own red dog, your own antichrist thinking, your own carnal mindedness. That's death. To be carnally minded is death, separation from God. The carnal mind, your own non spiritual thinking, is enmity, directly opposed to you going ice, to, towards, and into God's way. And it's not your way, but it's God's way, Yahweh, God's way. Don't exist, exist, exist down this pooper. Go exist, exist, exist up to God. God uses, provides a cattle prod. Hmm. And then a cattle prod pointing the way. It translates that as angel, an angel. That's the first word in this verse that, and that I will deal with, okay? Angelos, I believe is the way they pronounce it, number 32. Let me go ahead and start that one. <clears throat> yeah. A-N-G-E-L-O-S, number 32. My little fat, naked, cute baby with a little bone there and all this. Uh, imaginary figures. 
Huh, man, it's just yuck. There's a little bit of angel money, you know, a little day one. Cast that stuff away. Go on beyond that stuff. That's bull crap. Get down in there where God's working. An angel. This word right here. Strong's G32. Angelos. 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 Well, that's the point of Greek word for it. It's different than the Hebrew and Aramaic. I, th I think it's Malak. I'd have to go look at it, okay? Again, to be absolutely 100% sure, okay? Now, whatever it's going to. Mm, ah, God's giving you argument, case, and explanation. He's sending messengers. A pastor. Someone that's a leader. I mean, they lead and direct you. They guide you. But don't do it for you. I'm not doing it for you. I'm guiding you. I'm like in that pit, in that vision God gave me that big braided rope. Where he's twisting. Those that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They'll run and not go weary and they'll walk in that thing. Isaiah chapter 40. Towards the last part of that verse. Or chapter. <coughs> Those that wait. You take like little braids of rope and twisting it. Making it stronger and stronger and stronger. Hmm. Oh, all this stuff, all the things going on in my life has brought this stronger and stronger rope. And he was showing me a long time ago when I could barely even stand. Hmm. And I'm all rickety and wobbly. I'm not sure if I was still using a walker or maybe just, just getting up out of a, still in a wheelchair, but I was able to just stand up. I'm not sure which phase I was at, or maybe on the tripod came, but I was standing at the front of this church with everybody around me singing and doing all their stuff, and God was showing me this. Nobody else knew it. And there's a whole bunch of stuff in there that just keeps exploding out many times. Huh? And I was wide awake. But I, I wasn't. It was just up there on that limb out over the water with that braided rope. Big heavy one down to the fish. They were coming up and grabbing it. And I was pulling them up over this limb that they couldn't help get over by themselves. These hard things up over it and lowering them down into a, a real bubbling brook fed water where spring water was coming down in there and it was just bought like that bitter vinegar solution to where they got to work it out with themselves. God, these little bitty balls, double mindedness, unstable all the ways. God's bringing it down into this bitter vinegar solution and then. Hey, and when they hold tight and start to call up with the Father God, he brings them up. He gives them an increase. And it's 1 to 2 to 4 to 8 to 16. He's baptized them in the Holy Spirit fire, purification. He's sanctifying them little by little by little down and throughout their mind so that they can speak in the tongues of God, in the love of God, that racham. To meet his child. Not just boom, boom, boom. And say it like they're doing some other language. No. This is a language. Not just a natural. Humanistic thinking language. Red Edemic way. This double minded language. I love you man. Here you go. But if you don't do what I say. I'm going to cut up the waves. And poop down your set. You're going to go to this hell. That this thing says. God's a monster and he's going to kill you, torment you forever and ever. Worse than Hitler or a pedophile or anything. Man, aren't you better fear God? No, give me all your money. No, green like God, hog tie this thing. Well, you better rebel against everything you told you be hurt. Or you're mad or somebody stepped on your toes. 
Somebody used a cattle prod on you trying to herd you back into the home, safety in God, in that thought process that gets you started this way. One, two, three, four, eight, to change this double-minded thinking back into the love of God. What? Come up this spiraling staircase. Come up this dust devil from the colder way of thinking, this red endemic double-minded stuff, up to God's hotter, more superior. What? Much superior. God's ways are higher, superior to our ways, our lower, huh? The storms, huh? I'll toss. It's he, she, or it, this ball in your thinking process in the A air, A E R. I think it's 109 in the concordance. You're giving you an opportunity to come from the lower Adamic way of thinking up to his higher, superior way. It's an opportunity to green light God. And as his messengers, his pastor, his guides. Um, let's see, hang on now. <laughs> I'm trying to, that's, I don't know how to put it in here. Um, you know, these ones that are directing you. Not, not, not directing you to all fear. Now, God is the greatest. There's a little bit of a mild shock, a cattle prod. That's I'm going to name this one. <clears throat> the watering man. A cattle prod delivers a mild shock to the herd, right? To the flock. In order to lead the flock back home to God. Back to the safety of God. Oh my, it's not to kill you. Huh? God's put the other up there. He's taking over and do the rest. Oh my. You ready to give up now? Pharaoh, I done softened your heart and you let my people go. Now I'm hardening it. Now you can do after them so it brings glory to me. So I just get out there to that Red Sea. You're going to come on. I'm going to split it. And they're going to walk across on dry ground. And you're going to go plumb lunatic. And go after them. I'm going to kill you, you son of a... Huh? And when we get you across there, they come out on dry ground, and you, God lets her go. Bang! It kills that flesh they take. Zap! It's in your mind. This flesh they think, and hog tie it. Zap! God's doing the work. It's bringing glory to God. His desire is to bring you home to Him. He's going to bring everybody in their own order, their own level. In his precise, correct timing. Are you getting all that you can get from God when he's... Are you mistakenly believing this? Your own alpha dog. Your own red demic ways. Your own antichrist thinking. Your own BS. I'm making a statement of this because I got self-preservation. I can do self-preservation for my own ego. I and mean, if there's a cattle prod or something God's using or somebody else says something that came from God, not just a bunch of red dog thinking or telling them, you gotta fear God or, hmm. There's a true messengers of God, not many pateras. There's many, um, uh, them baby leaders, patty and goo goos, paid God, God goo goos, but there's, there's a 10, 10,000 or a mere, a, King James has 10,000, but it comes from myriads. That's a myriad, an innumerable number of this stuff in your mind and in other people. You listen to that stuff, there's a bunch of garbage. In other words, don't garbage thinking won't drive out garbage thinking. Lord of the fly thinking won't work to get you back to God. Hog tie it. Sock. Duct tape, make a muzzle. Hands, feet. 
Don't try to work it out yourself. Don't try to live it out. Don't make empty promises, covenants with this thing at all. Let's kill this whole city in this one little tiniest ball in the deep, deeper, deepest of your thinking process. Father God's telling you, be reasonable, sit my way, my child. Zap, 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 like a spark plug. Getting that little bit of feeling, boom, blow, explosion, and driving that piston down. Up them. Huh? Work out your own salvation. Not in fear and trembling. Reverence, honor, oh my goodness, Father God, you are the greatest, and increase in this gratitude, this love, this for child, the way to love God back all the way he first loved you. Beyond the mere description of words, you can't exalt his child. But you'll grow to a higher and higher and higher order in each one of those thought processes. Boop. Huh? Way beyond. You can't do one little bitty tiny step on your own. This thing says you can. Red doll. Antichrist. But it's, it don't want you to go back to God. Huh? It's a little bit of God's like big cattle prod. And then he's got messengers. Huh? Provide a little bit of electrical shock to kind of hurt them. Huh. Not to harm. Huh. Alright. It's just directing, guiding. Huh. Offenses must come. Huh. Hopefully, you get on beyond that stuff. God permits, you won't be for offended. Oh. Learn to laugh at it. Man, that is poop I'm sticking in my mouth. You know, it is crazy. Okay. Now, <clears throat> let's get on down in here and look a little bit more on this. This, um, an angel. Okay, it's a neuter noun. Okay, I done, I done played it. I'll do it again. Strong's G32. Angelos. Angelos. It's a masculine noun. It's a messenger from God, one who is sent. In the Strong's Exhaustive Concordance, it says a messenger or a pastor. The Thayer's Greek lexicon, a messenger. And it comes from two words, okay? It says it comes from, derived from G71 and compared uh, G34, okay, and it says uh, to bring tidings, okay, now listen, it says um, G71, this is A-G-O, this word, this is the verb form, coming from the verb, G71, Ago. Ago. that's a primary verb, okay, it means to drive, this messenger, pastor's guide, leading you to drive, to induce, to lead by persuasion or influence as to some action or state of mind. God's righteousness. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. God's love. Not your love. He go up. Or your own righteousness. Your tree of God. Knowledge of good and evil. It's all ugly. It's filthy, mistress, stinking rags. That heart of man is a liar. It's a deceiver. Huh? It's up no good. It's no good. It's no good. Baby, it's no good. Or son of man, it's no good way. It's not God's plan. Hold tight. Shut that dog up. Beat it, you damn dog. And I'm talking about your own stinking thinking. Okay? Now, it goes on and says, to lead by laying hold of. I'm going forth, and I'm, God's put this in me to do this. To, when he's doing this, this is for you, my child. Yes, sir, daddy. 
huh? And this way to bring to the point of destination. Back home to daddy. Safety. God's your savior. The safe place. Go God's way. Up to the orange. Up to God's way. Little by little by little. Don't go this dangerous, perilous, broad way that leads to corruption and destruction. Go the narrowing way. Up his funnel correction. Take you to a higher dimension, like another universe. Go down to the black hole. God's love's drawing you and compacting all those natural forces. Strong, weak nuclear forces. Way down. Much smaller than the nucleus. Madam. Electromagnetism. Huh? And the gravity. It's all pulling and combining. It's getting much, 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 much hotter. All the way down from the radio wave, plumb out. This is all light. Electromagnetic spectrum. Turn it on the end. It's a funnel correction. Down, all the way down. To the eye of the needle. To that singularity. And then there's like a wormhole. Take you to God. God's way. Booyah, baby. And then you can go. And that to and fro. Opens up to a whole other universe. God's way. Getting rid of all this double-minded bullshit. It's worthless and detestable. God's done it for you. The word of God is sharpened into two edges short. It's divided. It's solely stinking. This double-minded stuff. All this poop fertilizer around the seed of Christ. This must decrease and God must increase. Denser, 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 more compact. So you can go through the eye of the needle. That's each little thought process in the deep, deeper, deepest of your mind. There's plenty to work on. You won't run out. Okay. Now, this Angelos, okay, G37 in the New Testament, in the TR Greek Concordance, it occurs 185 times in 180 verses. Okay, that's from the, the Greek, the Koine Greek language, and then that's an extinct language, and it's speaking in a picture. How many words does it take to adequately describe a picture to someone that that's, can't see, hear, taste, touch, or smell anything because they got this log, your own carnality, your own stuff trying to keep them from going back to God? It's, again, uh, it's enmity. It's directly opposed to going two towards and into God. It's right there. It's like stabbing you. It's like crucifying you. Remember that, that cross? It's not a two-member beam. It's a star off. It's like a pointed stake. It's crucifying you, and you don't even know it. Ah, ah. Maybe eat some more of that stuff. Ah, ah, ah. Harden you down and tell the truth to where you can't get all this thing. Hmm. Drive that thing out by green light and God. And take the mind of Christ in there. And you're seeing it. You can taste that your smell. And it's each little bit of tiny area. You don't do that all at once. Not a cataclysmic hocus pocus thing. Huh? God's building it. He's reassembling your mind little by little by little. It's God's ways. He's putting in there to all the prophets and everything in them and, and the Bible stuff, all they suffered greatly for Christ. Not for shooting himself in the foot. Oh man, I'm hurting there. Well, who did that to you? Well, I went and shot myself in the foot. You big dummy. I grabbed on that hot burner with my hand and burn it. Burnt my own works. You reap what you sow. But if God takes it, does it. And the storm, bring a storm. And he will. In the world there must be tribulation, but be of good cheer for I will overcome the world. He's bringing the storms. Just like the Jonah. Hmm? Ah! Hog tight. Bop, 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 bop. Come up. 
babies will sit my own sit your way, not your own ego's way. That thing that itching got out, things gotta die. Hmm? Okay. Now I'm gonna touch, I wanna get the the next word that they said and I'm about to run out of time is four. What's this word? Kept from ten sixty three Gar. <clears throat> Strong's G, 1,063, Gar, Gar. Okay, now this Gar is a, a sign of reason. Okay, used in argument, explanation, and intensification. Hmm? And as you're being changed into the image of God, these leaders, these directors, these messengers, this angel, angelos, is hurting, trying to hurt you back to God. God is the greatest. Not he's a big, bad, bad scientist, messed up, gonna kill you and torment you. Torment 97% of you, you better be afraid of him. That's bullshit. Cast it out. Drive it out of your mind. Don't swallow that stuff. Come back to God. Huh? <laughs> Not just a little fat, naked baby, tickle your ears and easy peasy stuff. You can't hire them to tell you what you thought right there. No, just stay in that double-mindedness. Come back to God. Have a great day. Hit like, subscribe. Let me know in the comments how you feel this. Oh, my goodness. Thank you.